Good morning, guys. Welcome back to another vlog. Can you guess where we are right now? Can you guess where we are? I'm coming at you guys live and direct. Well, you probably can't guess right now, but from Florida, it's actually an impromptu vacation, so I didn't get to tell you guys about it. I only found out about it late last week, and then we left, I think, two days after we found out about it. And we are going to do my favorite thing that we do in Florida, which is spend the morning by the pool. <laughs> I'm so ready for this, you guys. So it's not sad. even funny. We're only here for four days, but four days of lots of fun, lots of tan. This skin needs some vitamin D, to be honest. I get the best tan, I have the best time, I eat the best food. So yeah, I'm gonna take you guys along with me. A collision of decisions Whirling in my heart And my vision, a recession has never been this hard I got wasted when I tasted Oh, I just love it here. We're here. This is our pool and literally this is why I love it because no one is here most of the time. Like it's just us and maybe one other family. I don't know. Like these resorts are just freaking amazing. And this like whole section is life. This is why I love it. Living. Imagine if someone walked in, I would be so embarrassed. Literally this is an hour and I already have a tan line. We're done with the pool and we're actually just going to walk and get ice cream at our favorite ice cream place. We found this place last time, I think we showed you guys. It's the Ample Hills Creamery and uh, the butter pecan brittle ice cream is literally life changing. How do you feel? Why are you following me? <laughs> <laughs> we're not ready, we're unsteady, I'm stuck inside your grip. I'm going down, down, down like a waterfall. You're keeping the Hey guys, so we are by the pool again and I just want to talk to you because one of the things that I said to you guys um, I, on Snapchat and Insta stories before I came on this vacation was I didn't feel bikini body ready and I didn't feel Florida body ready and I know you guys are sick of me talking about how I put on weight and things like that. It's just that last year around this time when I was in Florida I was so comfortable and confident in my body. I felt great. <clears throat> Sorry, it's really hot so I'm out of breath. I'm about 10 pounds heavier and I just don't feel as confident as I did and as kick-ass as I did last year And then I kind of realized to myself after complaining. I was like, Amy, you're being a real brat Don't be a little bitch. Don't be an idiot Like I am no way overweight and even if I was who cares? So I wanted to kind of get over it. I got my bikini on So how do you get bikini body ready fast in 24 hours actually in five minutes? You put on a bikini and you take your ass to the beach or the pool and you sit there and you rock it and you own it and be confident and I think body positivity is something I want to um, promote a lot more because no matter what shape or size you are there is always going to be someone thicker, bitter, skinnier, bigger, smaller, whatever it is than you and you can only look at yourself. I don't want to compare myself to other people or even myself last year because I'm not that girl anymore. I'm the girl this year who's heavier and so I need to rock myself and be confident in my own body. Ramble over. We're gonna do some mini golf. Actually, the sun's not out too bright right now. When the sun beats down on you and you play the golf, it's like <sighs> dying. So I've got the braid, I've got my little lemon top. So hopefully this time I'll be a little bit better. <laughs> For the long run now, red Corvette and my drop top down, calling up my digits in my Motorola. You know how I said the sun was in, oh, it was probably gonna, gonna be a little bit cooler. Whew, that was a lie. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. So hot, but so much fun. You complain <laughs> and you want to kill yourself every second of the but way. But low key, it's fun. Like, <laughs> but you're having so much fun. Speeding like a rock, someone. Falling and I'm a whip, whip, yeah Out in Fairfax, going hard in the pit, yeah Yeah, I still ball in the pitch, yeah Something wrong with the picture Something is wrong with the way And I don't know why Why, why, why Why you need to lie, lie, lie Something is wrong with the way And I don't know why 
why, why, why? How do you get by, by, by? Going to the pool, stand up morning things. It always looks so dark. So one of the very best things about staying in like self-catered apartments, which is my favorite thing to do on vacation, means you don't have to eat every single freaking meal outside. That can get unhealthy, too many calories, and personally, I love to have a cheat meal, but I get sick of eating out, even like healthy food, but eating outside three meals a day, all day on a vacation. So I'm going to show you guys, our fridge is pretty bare right now because we're kind of into the vacation. I should have done this at the beginning. You guys can see how I kind of stay a little bit healthier on vacation. Normally I'll have like a cheetah day or something on vacation because I'm not as strict with myself, especially here in Florida with all the walking and sweating. I think I can allow myself that, but yeah, let me show you guys. So over here we have these, which are my latest addiction. These are the blue diamond lightly salted almond. And then here we bought our oatmeal. So this is Quaker Quick Oats. This is the same oatmeal that I eat at home. So we've been having pretty much oatmeal or the other thing that we've been having are bran flakes, which are right here. So those are our two breakfasts for the trips. Again, I eat bran flakes all the time at home. Over here we just bought some bananas it's nice to have fresh fruit so a banana a day is what I usually like to have in the pantry I of course have my boom chicka pop which you guys know is my addiction and that actually pretty much got me through the three-day drive here and then in the fridge our fridge is kind of bare right now but we have eggs we bought this dressing here because we've been having like salad dinner and we're gonna have a salad I think tonight this is the boathouse farm cilantro avocado but it's a yogurt based dressing so although it's creamy it's not actually high fat we have enough water to last us probably a few days because let's get real we drink tons of these every day then of course you've got your milk for your cereal um this is for coffee half and half creamer we got these chobani 100 calorie yogurts i don't know why they don't sell chobani in canada because these are really really good so this is a vanilla one these are like 12 grams of protein 5 grams of fiber and they're low sugar so these are great and i think there's only like 13 grams of carbs and then this one is my personal favorite this is the peach version some i can't believe it's not butter some leftover cheesecake factory because cheesecake factory is life some bread, which actually I've been eating a lot more bread on this vacation than I usually would at home. I think I've had it, well, I've just had a bit more just because it's good on the go, it's quick. My stomach hasn't really been that bloated for it. We've got salad because we're making salads. We've got some organic ham, onion and garlic, sharp cheddar cheese, and then we have some grapes, we have some bagels, and we have some peaches, but I don't know where, oh. Yes, in here we have some apples. And then we have just one lone peach left. These peaches are so good here. They're so sweet. You don't even need any honey or anything. In the freezer, you have some more water, some ice packs. And then this is the Halo Top Peanut Butter Cup Ice Cream. I bought this on the first day when we got here because I thought we would eat it. But we've been eating like other ice cream that you guys will see on the vlog. So yeah, guys, those are the kind of things we keep in the house. I know today we have to get some chicken. Like I said, we already had meatballs. Oh, I put on a little too much deodorant today. And now, you know, that's the boring part of the vlog. Let's get on. Ain't no time for stopping, so show me what you need. I know that you want it, but what you got yourself into? What you got yourself into? <laughs> Guys, it's 
our last day here, like our last full day. I am so sad to be leaving because this was such an impromptu trip. We're only staying four days. I wish we were staying for longer. Like I think that's like every time. I always get out of breath when I'm vlogging. I need to like, I thought I was a fit person, but I guess not. just had like a really chill relaxing day of nothingness because it's our last day here but this is somewhere I've never been before we're in the town of celebration and you guys it is so freaking cute here I wish I like bought more outfits to shoot outfit of the day and to shoot a lookbook here but it is like something out of a storybook or a movie I totally want to move here it's amazing hey, I've got you on my mind. just knew that there would be a place here because it's old school and all these old school places sell fudge <gasps> there's free fudge samples and so I wanted to get some fudge when I was here and there are even free fudge samples so yeah you're the one that I want I want to stay here I want to stay here with you I want to I want to I want to stay here with you of our last night and I'm actually taking everyone out taking the whole family out to the Animal Kingdom Lodge it's our favorite restaurant in the entire of Disney here it's Boma it's the buffet it is amazing it's actually African inspired I think there's things on the buffet that like literally everyone could eat because I am the pickiest of eaters and I live for it so we haven't been here for two years it's pretty pricey I'm not gonna lie so I figured I wanted on our last night to kind of treat everyone so I surprised everyone with reservations here because they didn't know just say you want me Say you want me, say you want me back our final morning in florida aka we have to get the fuck out of here by 10 a.m and it's 8 30 now well 8 20. i actually mostly packed all of last night so you can see my big suitcase is packed i just have to fold that on top got my carry-on i have a package i need to return literally all i have to put away is this kind of little stuff here um last night i was doing so good at filming everything i was eating but then i realized i got way too half fresh and I forgot to film the main course. I actually had two plates of main courses so I had two opportunities to film but I failed on each of them. And then we just went outside and took a look at the animals but I have to show you guys. I got bitten by the most mosquitoes. I literally have 10 mosquito bites on my body and I'm allergic to them. So let me show you guys what happens because sometimes when I say I'm allergic to bugs like people are like oh no girl uh, let me show you. Do you guys see that welt on the back of my leg? Right down there, yes I have butt dimples, but here, this huge welt. You can even kind of see from the side, my hamstring is swollen right there. And then from the back, this huge welt. So my number one stop is gonna be to get a freaking Benadryl or some kind of antihistamine to bring that down because it literally hurts like a bitch. It hurts to walk, sit, it's like feels the biggest bruise. It doesn't even itch, it just hurts. Maybe itches a little bit, but I need a Benadryl. So let's pack and let's go do that. Oh 